all right y'all so today we're going to do a little uh tutorial on what i look for when i am fishing for flatheads so i'm not the person that looks for you know fish for flatheads most of the time they're buried down in there hard to see it is nice when you can see one but what we're going to do is we're going to cruise up this bank and i'm going to show you some of the stuff that i look for you know and we'll see a couple waypoints on my screen and all that but I got two banks here I'm going to run on that I've caught a lot of good fish off of. Um, it just seems to hold fish. And you can use this in just about any water you're at. So basically, first off, I set my side imaging, I set it to 80 feet so I can only see 80 foot out. And uh, that way I'm not, I just want to see what I'm scanning. I can't, I'm going to cast 80 feet in the current it's going to pull it back anyhow so you might as well get close to what you're seeing so now this is some of the stuff i'm going to look for if you see over here you see a pile of you got some trees in here there's some brush laying down through here that looks like a log right there it's a good shadow behind it you know just some little then on down imaging you can see the little pile right there and you can actually see where i got the waypoint out there now that stuff i'll look for i'll sit up an anchor throw some stuff out pull myself in front of it over here and, and come down and fish it right here um try to catch some fish with that you know you'll see on the map i usually so there's the bank we're coming down so i'm not too far away from the bank so if you put that over you know i'm 60 feet from well i'm 100 foot from the bank so i just kind of work down where the stair stops towards the bottom of the ledge right through here and kind of run up here and see what i run into as we keep on creeping down through here, we should be coming up into some more stuff. Uh -huh. See, now we're going to come up. If you look down here on side imaging, you're going to get a little bit of stuff on, on each side. I really don't fish that. Um, there isn't much there. You can see a little bit of stuff. You know, that kind of looks like that's, there might be some lumber in there. Some timber laying in here now when you get to this little area you can see how there's some here some here and it's spaced out those are areas that i really like because that way you have a chance of getting multiple flatheads one might live here one might live here one might live over here that's his home waters but yet you know they're spaced far enough apart from one another you can catch multiple at one spot so if you see i'm gonna kind of ride right on the bottom of this ledge here you're gonna come over here and you're gonna start seeing some stuff on down imaging right through here you know you got some trees over here so i fish mostly mostly wood that's what i fish but you got some nice you'll see that on the down imaging and then when you come over to side imaging you can see there's some trees in here there's a little bit of rock piles here rock piles you know which then when you come back over down imaging you can see we're really getting into some stuff so this is the thickest of some stuff that I really like to fish. I've caught some good fish off this spot actually. But if you come right here, you know, you can just see all this stuff in here. You know, those fish will come in there. You'll catch flatheads and blues. It's just not, it's just not flatheads, of course. You know, there'll be blues in the mix, but you can see just all that, just all spaced out right through there. Some of my favorite stuff to kind of target when I'm chasing these flatheads you know there'll be times when you're fishing all this but yet you'll catch the fish over here where there's nothing at that just means he's moved from this structure over here and now he's over here feeding so we're gonna come up we're gonna go a little bit farther i can't go too much farther the boat up here bass fishing but uh let's see here we're gonna come up right here is gonna be a good see this tree coming down you can see the shadow there's big shadows off of this off of it so it's a pretty big piece of structure um, and it's basically right on the ledge. So if you look right here, you see I'm right on the bottom of that. So this is all 20 foot of water. This is teen, you know, 10 to 20 foot of water. Of course, that's 10 and less. The red is. So I've got a color quarter, so it's easier for me to see, depending on time of year, what areas I might fish. But you come over here, you can still see just all these random, you know, hunks of structure, and that's a lot of what I fish. Um, Let's run down to the other bank here and kind of check that out. And uh, I'll show you some of the stuff I like to look at yeah, down look there. At. First of all, I'm going to say you can see right here the 80 foot mark is about where the bank is. So you can see there's the bank. I'm not too far from it, but here's some nice 
some good looking stuff right here. You got a big pile up right here, tree coming in behind it. You know, you got a tree over here and you can tell that's a tree, but you look on side imaging, there's some good marks right there. Um, but if you go ahead into your side imaging, you come down to range, you can do it on, you know, I mean, you could put a manual and it would go out to 100 foot. But if I stick towards 80 foot, I can see things bigger and clearer. So here's another spot. Um, you got all kinds of stuff in here. You know what I mean? Just You can just see all the stuff. Actually, those are tires. You can see all the tires in here. What they come from, I don't know where in the world they come from. But, you know, you just keep coming through here. And, uh, you know, what you're about to see, you got this. And then what you can't tell too good because it's right here on side imaging. If you come over here to dynam down imaging, you can see a pretty good tree laying on right here. So that's definitely an area I would fish um, because right here is where that tree is. And then if you come up, you got some tires and some other stuff in here. So there's a good chance there's some fish in this area um, most of the time. They're not, you know, they're not always there. They're not always biting, but most of the time. So, and, and we're looking, we're a little bit shallower here. You can see up in the map, we're over here in 18 foot. You know, so this, this stretch is just a little bit shallower water. Sometimes that's where they are. You know, sometimes they'll be pulled out towards the middle or you need to be fishing deeper stuff or other times you need to be up a little bit shallower. Um, where now you come back down to diet, you can see a pretty good tree sitting over here. It's not going to pick up on down imaging, but, and that's pretty close to the bank. So you can see this area, here's the bank or the slope going pretty much up to the bank, which there ain't much there. But you can see there's some good structure right there. This, this is the stuff I look for. You know, I just sit here and cruise the river and look for look for structure. I don't know how many waypoints I got on the on this Cumberland River. You know, it would take me a damn year to fish all of them. But one thing I always do though, always you know get a big flood. Always take a peek at your areas. Either some of that stuff might be gone, or you might have something new sitting down at the bottom. It's all. It's all there. Most of the stuff I got waypoint has been here for six years now and hasn't moved. But you know, and, and a lot of this stuff I'm looking at, I've caught a lot of good fish off of. So we kind of got an area where there ain't nothing here. But we're gonna roll up here a little bit farther. So you kind of got a couple little humps, pile of stuff, a little hump right here with some stuff on it. You can definitely see on the down imaging that little hump. You know, there's times when it's a little bit higher water. And we're on, you know, if you're in an inside bend, those fish might be sitting right at the bottom of those humps. So you need to keep your eye on that, you know, and try to fish that. You know, because when the current's moving, they're going to look for current breaks most of the time. Your blue cats are going to be out in the middle of the current, you know, but a lot of these flatheads are going to look for current breaks. Now we're coming up on a few more stuff you'll see over here. Now this is something, you know, pretty close to the bank if you look on a map you know we're pretty close to the bank over here on some of these marks now this is the type of stuff i'd fish in the springtime when the water's warming up it's always going to be a little bit warmer on the banks you know the sun beats on it shallower and those fish will push up into that kind of stuff um but post spawn things like that they're more or less going to be pushed out into a little deeper water at least during the summer uh at night it's a different story they'll move up into that shallow water at night but most of the time during the day, I'm targeting them at, at least 20 foot of water. At least that's where I'm going to catch some of the bigger ones at. You'll always catch some smaller ones up there. So we're going to pull out 22 foot of water. And then now, you know, I'm going to fish this. You got this stuff over here. You got some stuff over here. It actually looks like there might be a fish sitting right here. But... You know, you just got a variety pack of stuff on both sides. This is what I like to see right through here. You'll see, you know, when you're looking at the down imaging, you'll see all this. It doesn't look like much to people, but that's just what I've found to target for fish. Um, I mean, you're really starting to look into it now. I'll probably anchor up, throw a couple short in it, just all in this area. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff right here in this area. Yep. So that's some of the stuff I look for. You know, this is just a little behind the scenes video with, uh, you know, you watch me come out, you watch me throw out there, you watch me catch the fish, but what am I looking at? So 
this is just one of the little videos i'll put out with something like this uh we can do some in some deeper water i mean as you can see we're just slowly cruising a mile an hour up that bank there's a good tree right here so this is a good area to hold some fish are they here today i don't know but we're gonna try um we're definitely gonna give us a shot so if you like what you've seen you know this is just a little bit of how-to videos um on what i look at so you know a little behind the scenes type of stuff you see me catch some fish and, and all that stuff but i guess you really don't know what i look at sometimes so if you have any further questions on anything just leave them in the comments and uh i'll try to answer them or i'll come back out here and make another short little video on something to help help you guys out you know help you guys on your bodies of water you know my main body of water is a cumberland but you know you can take what i'm showing you here and just take a peek you know at your body of water when you're going up and down and what you're finding um and you'll just learn there's some types of structure pals or anything on the bottom that might be different you know what i mean um your fish in your area might hold to something a little bit different than what mine is so as i travel around i'm just gonna do some more of these how-to videos on adept finders and stuff like that so, so people can see so i appreciate all you guys tuning in and taking a peek at this and uh once again if you have any questions feel free to ask thanks guys